apologize first and most importantly to my family. I apologize to the public whom I promised better. Welcome back to CBC News Sunday. As a crusading attorney general and then New York governor, Elliot Spitzer made morals and ethics the cornerstone of his public life. But this week, his private life was revealed to include high-priced prostitutes. When he resigned on Wednesday with his humiliated wife by his side, Spitzer made an apology of sorts. It got us thinking about all the famous figures who've been caught with their pants down, as it were. Why are their stories so easy to say, but sometimes so hard to believe? All you need four empathetic statements. I see you're angry. I'd be angry too. I understand that you want an explanation for this. I want to help make this better. An apology has to be sincere and done without resentment with the person taking responsibility. Act fast. Be sincere in your body language, facial expressions, words and deeds. Performance precedes words. Finally, if you will take accountability, if you will do something to repair the damage done, now you have a complete apology and that's the final step. You don't want to use absolutes, no, not, never, nothing, none, because you can't live up to them. No one can live up to the phrase, I will always, I have never, we will never. I think Spitzer used too many weasel words. He kept calling this a private event. Well, when you're a public person, you don't have very many private events. I think sometimes it's very painful for a person to apologize. It's absolutely laying themselves bare and saying, yes, I did this, it's my fault, it's my responsibility. People probably feel very vulnerable when they do that. Apologies, though, are kind of like a bookend to an event. And they allow people to move on, even with the memory of the event, but move on with other aspects of their lives. 